Kapuchin TV. Tumetoka kambali. Bado tuko bali na tunaenda wapi? Bali. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Huduma Katoliki ya Uinjilishaji. Good morning dear viewer this is Captain TV your Catholic identity and today is on Tuesday and as usual is our program Missions of Hope with I Sister Esther Muturi and today for our quote on hope we say that we must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope how are, how are you doing dear viewer to Msifu Yesu Christu Today we yet have another group in the studio and they are going to introduce themselves and tell us who they are. But before they do that, we are going to have a word of prayer from one sister. Sisters, welcome. Please, sister, lead us in a word of prayer. Thank you. Yeah. And let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who what art in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come. come. Your will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Dear God, we come before your presence once again this morning. We want to thank you. We want to give you thanks for taking care of each one of us, for giving us hope to continue living our life. We pray for ourselves here. We pray for the Captain TV and our host today as we present ourselves in giving hope to the hopeless, in proclaiming that you have been faithful to each one of us in our daily lives. We want to commit this program into your hands that you may be with us as we begin it. Bless those who are looking, viewing us from different parts of the world, that God, they may find hope in our experiences. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you, Thank you for praying for us. And please introduce yourself. Who are you and what is the official name of your congregation? The viewer is watching. Yeah. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Ruth Nyawera, Sister Ruth Nyawera Rita. I have another extra name that is Jane. So my official names are Ruth Jane Nyawera Rita, mm -hmm. Franciscan Missionary of Mary. Okay. Welcome, Sister, Thank to Captain Studio. Sister? Uh, I am Sister Beatrice Wanjiro. I belong to the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. Thank you very much. You are welcome to Captain TV. Uh, so, dear viewer, today, as I have told you, we yet have another w strong group of women. That is the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. Franciscan and Mary, they don't go far from each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so... <laughs> So welcome, sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Who are these sisters? Like, who, who is the foundress or the founder of this congregation? And what carries in drive the co this congregation? Thank you, sister. Yeah. As I have said, we are Franciscan missionaries of Mary. Our foundress is called Blessed Mary of the Passion. But her birth name is Marie Helen Philip de Chapotain. She was born in France in a place called Nantes, and so she became the foundress of the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. I would like to give a, a short history of our foundress, how she began our congregation. So Blessed Mary of the Passion joined the poor Clares when she was 21, and then due to poor ill health, she left the poor Clares and went back home but she still had the call to become a religious. So 
After some time, she met with a Jesuit priest from France called Father Petit, and this priest led her to join the reparatrix. So our, our foundress joined the reparatrix, and in 1876, in 1882-83, she went to India where she, as a novice, she, she served as a novice, and then she made her first vows. And she was made the, pro, the she became the provincial as a, at 27. So she was very young into leadership. And so the reparatrix were invited by the Jesuits to serve in an apostolic vicariate called Madurai. So the, the, they helped with the women formation and the formation of the young, young women to join, to form a local congregation. So many of the passion was the leader then, and so she continued with a, a quite a large group of them. After some time, they had some difficulties in the 19th century. The women religious were not yet very well uh, accepted, like in terms of leadership. Okay. So many of the passion, with 20 other sisters, they left the reparatrix. Oh, she has a story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they left the Reparatrix okay. and um, they went to one vicariate of Coimbatool where they were welcomed by... Still in India? In India, okay. yes. Okay. They were welcomed by one bishop called bishop Musinho Badu. Mm -hmm. So now, many of the passion with 20 other sisters, they have come to this uh, vicariate. Mm -hmm. Now, Monsignor Bado advised many of the passion. Now, you need to go to Rome to, to, to see the propaganda fide for this young group because we, we don't know what to do f at, at this moment. So, many of the passion went in, to Rome to meet the, the head of the propaganda fide. So, she was actually uh, accepted, and they were asked to remain in Koibatul and they, they remained as missionaries of Mary. Okay. Then the bishop said, I think you still need to go back to Rome to have more clarification about this young group. So she went back to Rome in 1882, and actually this explains how we became Franciscans. Mm -hmm. So in, she met the, the OFM general, superior general, in Italy? Or in, in Italy. Okay. She went to Italy and met the Franciscan, mm -hmm. and that was really graceful because she was able now to explain her, her case. Mm -hmm. And she, so she was asked to found a house in Rome, and then on, 15th, uh, on 4th of October, 1885, she was accepted to the third order okay. of Francis, okay. Franciscan. So yeah. we officially became Franciscan missionaries of Mary mm -hmm. in 1885 okay. on 4th of October, the Feast of St. Francis. Oh, yes. that's good. Yes. <laughs> that's a, a, a story yes. that uh, when God calls you, it doesn't matter how many hurdles you have yes. to jump to reach mm -hmm. to the to the call. Yes. And mm -hmm. maybe there are some people who are outside there. Maybe you once joined religious life and you mm -hmm. felt like it is the end of the world mm -hmm. because you are told to go back home. Do not give up. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to this story because you are still <laughs> going on. Yes. So what is that uh, charism yes. that now propagated her to push until yes. today we still have this uh, congregation, yes. Franciscan missionaries of Mary. Yes. So yeah. Mary of the Passion, she had a great passion for universal mission. Mm -hmm. And this explains why our institute is considered as an international congregation. In the five continents, mm -hmm. we have 76 nationalities in 73 countries. So we are in the five continents. Okay. So she had this great vision for universal mission. And one of the greatest uh, um, drive for her, she wanted really to push the gospel and to make bring hope to mm -hmm. humanity mm -hmm. despite the difficulties of her time. Yeah. But she wanted to bring this hope. When she had this great experience in India, she, she wanted to spread it to the world. Mm -hmm. So our charism actually cannot be defined with one sentence. Okay. So we have five aspects oh. of our charism. Mm -hmm. So one, we are Franciscans. Mm -hmm. So how do we live this Franciscan spirituality? So in giving hope to the world, we follow in the footstep of St. Francis of Assisi. Yeah. This was a great inspiration for many of the passion. 
when us at 21, when she joined the poor Claire's, she had a very mystical experience where she was asked in this voice, are you willing to be crucified in place of the Holy Father? So Mary of the Passion said yes, without even thinking. But she didn't know what it will mean for it her did. to be crucified. Yeah. And it has, it has become evident in her life. Her history of uh, becoming a religious, a foul dress, mm -hmm. we can clearly see how, what it means when she said yes. Okay. And so she was given the name Mary, victim of Jesus and of Jesus crucified. Mm -hmm. And so she carried this, this name with her. And that's how even when she wanted to be affiliated to this Franciscan order, this was a great drive for her. Then the second aspect, we are adorers. Mm -hmm. Many of the passion came from the reparatrix. The reparatrix uh, had this devotion to adoration and reparation for sins. Okay. So this one great aspect that she picked with her. So we are active contemplative. Okay. So we bring the people that we serve to Jesus in adoration. And then Jesus sends us to back to the people that we are serving. So it's a two way forward that we are, we adore Jesus and Jesus sends us. Okay. Then the third aspect, we are missionaries. Mm -hmm. As I said, she had a great vision really for the Institute for Universal Mission. Mm -hmm. So basically today, for example, here in Kenya, we, ha we are about 60 plus sisters of 21 nationalities. Oh. So mm -hmm. it's very evident for FMM mm -hmm. to, to have universality, interculturality. Mm -hmm. And also for her, it's not limited mission only one country, but limited, uh, expanding to every part of the world. Mm -hmm. Then we, the other aspect, we are Marian. <laughs> Yes, so Francis yeah, and Mary, they, they, they cannot separate, other, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we look, yeah. we call Mary way within the way. So she's our example. She actually has said her etche and fiat yeah. is our inspiration. So mm -hmm. her total yes to God, we follow through this inspiration as a, a great example, really, yeah. to become a, a Marian, a Franciscan. And then we, are, we offer ourselves unreservedly. This is another aspect we call it self offering yeah. so when you give you are asked are you you are offering yourself and reservedly for the service of the church mm -hmm. if i am asked to go to china yeah, like we, we have our sisters who are in china even in a place where we are not accepted mm -hmm. you say yes with the hope with the confidence yeah yes that so it will work <laughs> that it will work and it has worked it, amid it, difficulties but it has okay yes thank you sister beatrice for yes. that elaboration of Franciscan missionaries of hope, the founder, uh, the foundress rather, and the charism. And Sister Ruth, yes. I know you have more you could have added <laughs> on that, but let it be enough for today. Uh, before you became a sister, you were a girl from which parish, for example, in Kenya, I know, because I know you are from Kenya. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, my bad parish is uh, Kilogoya Parish, mm -hmm. which is in Moranga Diocese. Aha, uh -huh. Moranga Diocese, we are in the house. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kirinyaga. Kirinyaga. That is Kilogoya Parish. Mm -hmm. That is where I was, I grew up as a young, naive girl, mm -hmm. not knowing exactly what religious life is. I did not have, uh, mm. I saw sisters, but did not click so much what was about them. But mm -hmm. I admired their dress. From, from the a childhood, child, okay. I was a good Christian. Mm -hmm. but you are a I just dancer. had uh, <laughs> <the tragical> dancers <laughs> serving mm -hmm. in the altar, mm -hmm. but just admiring the, the sisters' dress, and that, that was it. Okay. And then I went to high school. I studied, I finished. But this longing kept on following me. And mm -hmm. I asked my mom, what is this? She said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't understand. Yeah. Anyway, then there were sisters in my parish, there are Emmanuel sisters in my parish. I went in touch with them and they said, we'll work with you and see. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to join us? I said, I don't know me, I don't want to become a sister, but mm -hmm. I admire you, but something is fighting with me. Uh, okay. Uh, then I ended up found myself with the, I don't want, but the, the, it, the strong, there is you a are push. pushed, you yeah. are moved, you yeah. are moved, you are like, Mm. What is this happening? Yeah. 
So I talked to one of the priests and he said, uh, can you try uh, another, uh, some other congregation? Mm -hmm. But for me to come to know Franciscan missionaries of Mary, it was very strange. Mm -hmm. I saw them in the seed magazine. Oh. In Thank the you, seed magazine. <laughs> Keep the good work. <laughs> Keep yeah. the good work. Yes. You, you brought <laughs> my vocation. Yeah. I, I, I had decided now I want to be, but where to be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I had the uh, idea of let me try. So I went through my books. The consolators were, uh, why don't join us? They are the Emmanuel, and I am not very sure yet. So mm -hmm. one time I was reading my old magazine, mm -hmm. and I see Franciscan missionaries of Mary, and medical missionaries of Mary. Okay. I say, like, I write to these two, yeah. whoever responds first, mm -hmm. this is where my, my, I will go. Okay. So I wrote Franciscan missionaries of Mary, responded within two weeks, I had the letter back, oh. inviting me for a come and see. Mm -hmm. I say, wow. Okay, let me come. And when I came for that come and see or a visit, I just felt this is, this is home. This is home. This is home. The Franciscan joy and the, the Franciscan spirituality. I had, I had met the one <laughs> Claire, Claire and sister, and I, she, I, that Franciscan, I wanted to experience that Franciscan because she was very good sister. Okay. And uh, I wanted to feel that joy. Okay. So when I came to the Franciscan missionaries of Mary the first day, I said, I'm not going back. Thank you. <laughs> this is where she I She came, <laughs> felt at home, and she's still there today, yeah. dear viewer, and... Uh, as she has said, I hope one day a sister will come or a brother in the studio and say, I saw that congregation on the program Missions of Hope at Captain TV. Uh, and that is how I came to know that congregation. And that's how I joined. Dear viewer, keep watching. We are going for a short break. And when we come back, we continue with our conversation. This is Missions of Hope with I, Sister Esther Muturi. Capuchin TV. To my talk and body, body to go body, not to land a wapi, body. And the Lea Kutazama, Capuchin TV, Huduma Katoliki, Yawinjili Shaji.
Kapuchin TV. Ni barakan toka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni marana. Weli, ni marana toka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni marana. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV. Welcome back, dear viewer. We are going on with our conversation with our great sister, Sister Beatrice and Sister Ruth in the studio, Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. And before we went to the break, Sister Ruth was giving us the story how she got to know the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope through the Seed magazine. Sister Beatrice, what happened to you? Why? Why join the sisterhood? And there are so many other businesses that you could have done outside this world. Yes. Yeah. So for me, actually, I came to know the Franciscan missionaries of Mary also through the CD magazine. Wow. That's and good. then mm -hmm. I had a friend who mm -hmm. actually brought, because I didn't know who are these Franciscan missionaries of Mary. And by the way, from which parish? Okay, I come from Archdiocese of Nyeri, okay. from... Uh, Gyakaife Parish. All right. But At I Wanyeri, we yes. are in the house. Okay. Yes. But I grew up in Moranga Archdiocese. Oh, so I, I can say I have two dioceses that I grew up in. Yes. Okay. So I met this Fred that we were together in the in the parish as a Fred. So she introduced me also to the Franciscan missionaries of Mary. As I said, I, I saw them in the Seed magazine, but I didn't know who are this, where are they found in Kenya? Mm -hmm. So she brought me to one of the camps to come and visit them. And interesting, I was, I was, I got stuck and I, I remained, I wanted to join. Oh. And interestingly, she did not join the, the Franciscan missionaries of Mary. Okay. So I always tell her, so you, you were a channel really God used John for me. John the Baptist. John the Baptist, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> she prepared the way for you. Yes, so that's how yeah. I came to know them. Mm -hmm. And also the, the use, they came also to our parish after some time to do vocation promotion. So I still met them and I invite them to our house. Wow. So we got in touch with this, uh, with this at this time with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how you joined the Franciscan missionaries yes. of yeah. Mary. Yes. And because you did not want to, to do those other <laughs> yes. there because you felt the call yes. to be a religious person. Yes. What did they consider, for example, in matters to do with grading for you to join the Franciscan missionaries of Mary? Okay, when I, I joined, uh, the requirement was to have a grade C mm -hmm. and above, or you could have a C minus and a dip with a diploma. Does it in still some. stand today? It does, it is still starts okay. today. Okay. So if you have grade C and above, you could join, or C minus with a diploma okay. in any training. Mm -hmm. That is our requirement for any young girl willing to join us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Sister Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Sister Ruth, what are those formation stages that uh, the Franciscan missionaries of Mary go through before you can easily call yourself a Franciscan missionary of Mary? Yeah, so the, the first stage is, um, first of all, is a contact. You are in contact with the, the sister who is in charge of the vocation promotion. Mm -hmm. You attend few camps. And after you have felt that this is... Um, uh, this is where I find and I want to continue to search, then you, you begin after following some questionnaires. There are some questionnaires that young girls fill mm -hmm. about their background, and then you, you enter the, the candidacy stage. Mm -hmm. uh, in my, uh, my time, it was four months. Four months, candidacy. Candidacy program. Okay. At the moment, mm -hmm. it has changed oh. because they do catechetical course during that time oh. rather than doing it in the post transit. Mm -hmm. uh, so it may take one year, the, the candidacy program, mm -hmm. because you, they, they attend the program at Bitini. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you... So every Franciscan missionary sister has to begin from... Bitini. Bitini. All right. Yeah. It's good to know. It is uh, we because need of our requirement. Yeah, yeah. Because of our requirement when you have to be in 
in the parish, yeah. you are helping the, the children sure. or you are working with the, the catechumens, you need to have some background. Yeah. So that is the, the main purpose of, uh, not everybody is going to be catechist, mm -hmm. but also that background it's gives important you, important for but also between is not only the restricted with just catechist, it's also part of formation and the pastoral. Yeah, pastoral work. Mm, so okay. you are able to interact with people mm -hmm. in the parish better. Mm. And then after that, you the stage of post uh After post the novitiate. Immediately after novitiate, you are sent for mission experience, either in your own country or outside of your own outside the country, mm -hmm. uh, which will take you uh, for after two years or three years. Then you come back for spiritual course, maybe Franciscan spirituality in Tangaza, or any other spirituality course mm -hmm. in Tangaza. Uh, then after that, you continue with the mission experience as you prepare for the final vows. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sister. Sister Beatrice, there is something you mentioned that yes. you go to even countries where Christianity is not uh, accepted. Let yes. me be curious. For example, yes. if a Chinese want to join your congregation, what happens? Do you mm. have formation house in such areas? Yes. Or what happens mm. to such people? It never happens. Yes. Uh. Actually, we have uh, Chinese sisters, and oh. we have one Chinese sister here in Kenya. Oh, and, uh, that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, it, it, it's true when I say that we, we didn't dare to go even to missions where that we are even Christianity is not accepted. Yeah. So what happens for our institute, mm -hmm. the China, like for example, they're from the province of China, they mm -hmm. are formed within the, their country, okay. but of course China does not accept missionaries. Yeah. So they, for them, they can come to other missions. Mm -hmm. So actually we have quite a number of sisters from China that wow. are in missions. Congratulations. But yes, yeah. but of course you, we cannot go there as missionaries due okay. to the political yeah. restrictions. Mm -hmm. But they, they do well. They they are able to live the charism in their way, mm -hmm. in, their, in the cultural way within the Chinese uh, culture. Mm -hmm. And they live it very well and faithful. Okay. And when they come to the missions, they, ex they give us the experiences that they have. So yes. the formation, is it underground or uh, I am not getting <laughs> it? I hope the viewer is getting it. Uh, so it is done underground or? No, it mm. is not done. It is actually, they are accepted within the, within the country. A they certain pl place yes, in yes, China, yes. not China fully, okay. Yes, certain I get places. You. Okay. Uh, for example, we are in Hong Kong, China, mm -hmm. Hong, uh, China, Macau, mm -hmm. they, they do the, their formation there, and there's, we have sisters there. Okay. Yes. yes. The power of <laughs> <laughs> being <laughs> religious and yes. the beauty of the Catholic Church. We yes. there, where even others, even when the barrier is too much, but people dare to do it, and yes. we thank God that it happens. Yes. Sister, you are involved in different missions that offer hope to the society. And this program is Missions of Hope. What are some of these uh, apostolate that you are involved in that offer hope to the society? Okay, for the missions that we have, okay, we have many mi missions or pastoral work or mm -hmm. anything that we do in terms of apostolate. We yeah. are in schools, we are in the hospitals, we are. But uh, really, what uh, we concentrate on is. Um, working with the women promotion. Mm -hmm. We have uh, programs of working with women. We know that in different countries, women have never been uh, where they, they would want to be. Yeah. And especially in some other and countries today that we men work. are trying that uh, yeah, they are, they, <laughs> the empowerment the child, of boy the child, boy child is suffering. <laughs> <laughs> the boy child is suffering. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. in some cultures, still women are, are suffering because mm -hmm. they are not allowed to to do some other things. Um, we worked in some countries that women, even with when they give birth to twins, they have to kill one. Wow. They have. So Very we sad. work to help them to, to support them, especially mm -hmm. in those missions, mm -hmm. and also to give them something that they can do. Mm -hmm. We want to feel that they are also proud of contribution to their family. Uh, so we work in those missions. We are also working in missions like Kakuma. Mm -hmm. We have the work with the refugee camps. You have um, a community at yes, Kakuma? Yes, we have a community in Kakuma. Wow. 
uh, mm -hmm. which we work with the refugees and also the Trokanas, mm. the the area of those who have been there, you can understand how marginalized they, they, it is a marginalized place. Yeah. And so we we try to give them hope mm -hmm. that there is there is future. Mm. There is future whether they are struggling, so we we are able to help them find somewhere to drink water. Uh, the women help them to do. We have things to do with the hair, things to do with the terrain, that, that they can be able to support themselves mm -hmm. even in those difficulties, um, work with them closely. Yeah. We also give hope in uh, schools like Kibra. We have a, a small school in Kibra that uh, we try to support those who cannot be able to go to the high schools or big schools, mm. but they, they want to study. They yeah. want to have some education background. Mm -hmm. So we also support with them. We have... Uh, other forms of education in some other countries, informal education for those who have never been to school, but already they have passed the age of being back to school. Yeah. So we we try to teach them not only the how to write, uh, but also some other things in life that they can be able to support themselves. Mm. So we have those those schools. We have um, we have we are in the formation. We mm. work with the formation of young people. Mm. Uh, in the parishes, not only teaching catechism, but you are also involved with the formation of the young people. We have our sisters working with the, especially around Kibra, around other places, with the young people. Since they are all, all already dis displaced, we mm. have sisters who are doing counseling and accompanying this, either women or men or children who need their support especially due to stress that is happening in these countries mm -hmm. so that we can be able to help them to find the reason for life. Okay. Uh, so that is how we are trying to give hope in our involvement in the ministries mm -hmm. and in our apostolates and even to go out of ourselves uh, where we, we come and train people or we, we welcome people in our house, offer them a, a, a packet of uga yeah. or something that they can go home and they celebrate that some they will have come in the evening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so our house, we are, we are packed with the people knocking at the gate. Mm -hmm. uh, we know the situation, but we, we also try mm. our, with the little we have, because as Franciscans, as um, missionaries, we are called to share what we have. Yeah. So we want to share what we have and we try our best to share what we have with those who cannot afford to uh, to put a bread in their t on the table mm -hmm. in the evening when we give them a bread or help them to start a small business mm -hmm. for them to support them. Okay. Thank you, Sister Ruth. Sister Bistri, do you feel like there is something she has not mentioned? I think uh, mm -hmm. Sister Ruth has kind of in general covered what mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. And actually something else is our sisters, they are not limited to specific careers. So you find sisters working in justice and peace, mm. in the hospitals as surgeons, as teachers, as catechists, as pastoral workers, mm -hmm. as social workers. So in all the places where we are present, we really uh, put focus really in bringing hope to, and bringing life to these people that we serve. Mm. And actually our priority always, we say preferential option for the poor. Yeah. So we really, Always our ministries, whether I am a doctor or I am a nurse, is always for the privilege option for the poor mm -hmm. and those who are marginalized, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and we can see, uh, and dear viewer, you have heard the sisters elaborating on some of the work that they do in offering hope to the society. Which part of the world are you, are you based, like uh, in Africa or... Uh, Europe, I, I remember sister mentioning, but now maybe you can go in <laughs> details on these places that you are in. Uh, we are in all of the continents. All. In all the continents. <laughs> Even Australia. <laughs> yes. Even Australia. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, in Africa, we are in Central, East, North. Uh, we have communities even in North Africa. You know, we know North Africa is yeah, Muslim, Muslim country, yeah, yeah. but we have communities. Mm -hmm. Our sisters' presence um, may be difficult in terms of vocation-wise, yeah. but we are there to to say that God is for all of us, whether you are a Muslim or a Christian. Mm -hmm. So we have missionaries in North Africa, 
we have uh, in uh, Central Africa, we are in Congo, we are in um, Cameroon, we are in Burkina, we are in Senegal, we are in, in we are over over twenty one countries in oh. Africa. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. We are um, among the 40-something countries of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we, then we have uh, in Europe, um, we, have, we are in India, the whole of India. We are in uh, America, we are in uh, North America, we are in Latin America. We are in all the countries. Okay. And our I think the, the recent mission is in Cuba. We are also in, in um, those countries. Mm -hmm. So. We are everywhere, as Sister said in the beginning, we are represented in all the continents. We have many nationalities. Uh, it is evidence even in where we live. My community, we are seven of us with six nationalities. Wow. So <laughs> the, the diversity of who we are, uh, not only outside there, but this even is part of our strength. Okay. Internationality is very much by our strength. Mm -hmm. We try to to say that it doesn't matter where I come from, our our backgrounds, our races. We overcome that by because this is what many of the passion or our founders called us. When she sent people outside, she did not count where she is sending you. Mm -hmm. You wake up today, if today I wake up tomorrow, I might my, find myself in China or in <laughs> Cuba <laughs> or uh, North Africa. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sister. This is a congregation that is diverse. Are you a girl outside there and you want to tour the world? Join the Franciscan <laughs> Missionaries of Mary. And we shall continue on our last segment of our program today, Missions of Hope. Do not go away because very soon we are coming back uh, to conclude on what the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary do. Keep watching uh, Caption TV. Comments, recommendations are all welcome. And please, if you are watching us on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we want to grow wider and especially with this congregation that is represented in the whole world. This is uh, Missions of Hope with thy sister Esther Muturi. Do not go away. Capuchin TV. Libera canta capua mungo. Weli, weli, libera. Weli, libera canta capua mungo. Weli, weli, libera. Endelea kutazama. Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho Katoliki. Prayer for our earth. All powerful God, you are present in the universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love, that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with your peace, that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, Help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain, all the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggles. For justice, love and peace. Amen. This prayer was published in Pope Francis' encyclical, Laudato Si. It is for all who believe in God, who is all-powerful creator. Capuchin TV Tumetoka Bali, Badu Tuko Bali, 
na tunaenda wapi bali endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji Welcome back dear viewer to our last segment segment of Missions of Hope and I, I as I said before we went to for break we said this is an international congregation if you feel called to be a missionary to tour and to spread the word of God in the whole world even North Korea <laughs> I think or South Korea <laughs> everywhere you are welcome to join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope Sisters, we still want to know more about uh, your congregation and now in particular I would wish to know Sister Ruth, yes. what are you doing as a sister? What are you where do, are you based and what uh, service are you offering in the society? Well, at the moment um, I am a student mm -hmm. at the Catholic University of East Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing become in finance, mm -hmm. uh, but on be, uh, before be, beyond be, being a student, I also take catechism in Saint Michael. Mm -hmm. I'm the one I'm a catechist, or I do catechism mm -hmm. uh, every Sunday. Saint Michael is in Saint Michael Parish, which is Langata. Okay. Saint Michael Parish, Langata. Okay. That is where I do uh, my catechism. Uh, preparing the children, especially for the sacrament of confirmation, mm -hmm. which we are just, in a few months, we will be having a big group. Big group. A bigger <laughs> group. So yeah. uh, that is, more than that, I have other responsibilities in the house. Um, I am the community basa, so that is my service to the community. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, so I have... These three big responsibilities rather than just being a member of the community. Yeah, among all of them, yeah. I am happy to hear that you are a catechist. Yeah. And one of the things that happens with the, with the Catholics, yeah. <laughs> yeah. especially that age, you find that um, we go through catechism and some most of the time that is what we did. Yeah. It was more of memorizing. Mm the question and answer, question and answer, and when you come to the biblical aspect mm. of, um, of what we are being taught, there is a gap as yeah. far as sure, the sure. Catholics are concerned. Yeah. What, are, what difference are you making as a catechist mm. sister today? Because me, I was taught by a lay catechist. Mm -hmm. Now you are a Catholic sister. Mm. Yeah. I hope you, you involve the, 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 as they learn the question and answer, the biblical pas aspect yes. of it is carried out maybe you can say something and talk to the catechist because they are the key people to mm. maintain the faith sure. especially for those children so that after that they are not going out uh, and saying me nilikuwa kwa giza sasa nimeona mwanga yeah yeah i think uh, mm. that has been a big challenge yeah because once the children go and they finish confirmation yeah. they think that is the end of it all yeah, yeah. And uh, it does not only start with the children, it is a problem that is carried out even from the families. Yeah. Maybe our, what we went through is what we can pass to the children. Sure. And so the parents are finding it difficult mm. that they cannot now tell the children, wake up and go to church mm -hmm. uh, once they have finished confirmation. Because that time, because sister will put them wrong and she will, she, they will be absent and they will be delayed for the sacraments. Mm. So wake up and go for mass. Mm -hmm. So it has been a big challenge. Uh, and I, as uh, a catechist and also as speaking to the other catechists, I think what we need to, to do is to remind these children that it's not 
the final is not sacrament of confirmation because sure. that is what many people are uh, many children and they keep on asking this when i am when i am when are we getting this the confirmation <laughs> yeah, you know? that yeah. is the first question that they ask you when you enroll them in the confirmation mm -hmm. the, what when is the last the, when is that day mm. Th that is what they look forward to so you you the children to come to what i do is I try to involve them in some other activities mm -hmm. that does not only the entails um, just class. Mm -hmm. Okay, we learn about the sacrament, but other things that you do. So I try to go beyond, uh, bring in some other lessons outside the class, mm -hmm. like about morals, about what they need to do, yeah. that you keep them awake. So I, it is time for class but then just tell me your story first of all okay so you you involve the children in more ways that mm -hmm. they don't find it too boring you know it can be very boring <laughs> that you are I only know. there you are just uh, hearing yeah. uh, the sacrament the mm -hmm. seven sacraments and that is it but uh, to for us to involve these children for them to find the value that this is not the end but I think one of the things that I, I would propose is not only for these children, yeah. but also the ongoing formation for the, for Christian. the, the Christians, yeah, which is missing in yeah. many parishes. Yeah. That, the, that ongoing formation, that they p still people need to be reminded. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not a matter of waking up, coming for mass, and going home. Yeah. There are many things that we can involve ourselves. You find we, people don't want to involve in other groups in the church, mm. because my, my work is come, I see meto as a daka and we and, uh, and we go. Yes. So that's 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 missing. And so the parents are, can only pass what they have. Mm. So it's uh, a great challenge. And I know many catechists struggle outside there yeah. because maybe it, maybe some setup of the parishes does not allow. Mm. But also maybe our involvement with those w that we work with in the parishes that the ongoing formation for all the Christians should be be part of. Uh, what the church does. Oh, I yeah. think that is... Yeah, which can be is. even organized at yeah. the Jumuya at level. At the Jumuya level. Yeah, so that there is at, a, uh, mm. at the Kud level. Yeah. Uh, these groups of mm -hmm. people, uh, especially those who are not in the groups, then find another way of involving them. But it's a big challenge. It's okay. a big, big challenge yeah. when it comes to catechism <laughs> because children think it is confirmation. Yeah. That is the end of my country. That is the attitude comes the from school. That is the end of me coming to yeah. church. Yeah, and no, they go. I can sleep. <laughs> now nobody will ask me. Yeah. Anyway, you yeah. have work to do, and uh, uh, to yeah. all the change. catechists, please, you are the one who formed the foundation of the Catholic faith. <laughs> so may God help you it, it's to <laughs> know how to go about it, <laughs> because we need firm Christians yes. so that uh, we ha we have no many. We do not have many people going away from the church going to look for Mwanga mm. because I'm a kuwa kuwa giza. See, why <laughs> they should be saying that. Sister Beatrice, you yeah. are also serving the people of God. Yeah. What are you doing maybe for the sake of the viewer? Okay. Mm. So actually, I am a trained catechist as wow, well. Wow, thank you. I, ah. I graduated mm. from choir in 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when I made my final vows last year, mm -hmm. my institute had other plans for me. Okay. <laughs> so the, I have been requested to, uh, to help in the formation. Mm -hmm. So now I am preparing myself with the studies for formation. So I was sent to France. I came back two weeks ago. Oh, welcome so back. So <laughs> now I will be going to Italy to do the studies for as a formator. Okay. Yes. So I will be helping in the formation of the young girls. Mm -hmm. So anyone watching want to join, you are most welcome. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That is also a challenge, but a nice one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you'll be able to transfer what you have learned. Yes. And may God give you the strength to do that. Thank you. Sister Ruth, you have said you have six nationalities in the community. Somebody may be wondering, all these women are from different <laughs> homes and different <laughs> countries. Yeah. What is that one thing that make community work, community living work, that we can even taught our, we can teach 
to our viewers because especially in Kenya the tribal thing is a very difficult thing like mm. if you people from different nationalities are able to to stay together what is that one thing that you can tell the viewer and Kenyans in general yeah I think one of the things that uh, has ha I have learned in living in the international community is uh, respect mm. and communication yeah uh, when you have communication, sharing what is happening, yeah. you are able to understand each other. Usually what we do, we have days that we share our cultural background. Mm -hmm. During our bad days, during our celebration, we sit mm -hmm. and listen to each other's story. Wow. So mm. th th my sisters know where I come from. Mm -hmm. I am which born mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, even. Uh, those who are not in this country, they know Kirinyaga, okay. but they have <laughs> never been there, but they know where is Kirinyaga. Yeah. But just by that communication and sharing, but also a big respect. Mm. You know, there is no nationality or any culture that is bigger than the other one. Sure. So if we have that respect, so what we try to do is also we use the, the language that everybody understands. Mm -hmm. Unless we are together with the Beatrice alone, mm -hmm. then we can speak our Kikuyu yeah. or our Kiswahili. Yeah. But we use our community languages are English. Okay. Uh, they are French speakers, but when we are in community, we always use English. Okay. Because this is this is something that can separate us. When you under, don't understand what people are saying, mm -hmm. even if people are not talking about you, you can be very suspicious. Of course, yeah. So <laughs> we try our level mm. best mm. Um, in living our life with respect. Mm. Respect for us is very important. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we, we, we try to, to understand we are sitting in every day looking at each Jesus in the adoration together. Yeah. yeah. So what is Jesus doing in us that can be help us? So mm -hmm. if Jesus is sending me not only to the people outside, it's also sending me to the my sisters in the community. Okay. So that is what really support us. And we really communicate. Okay. We try to communicate. What is what is not working, we share. Yeah. We communicate. And you work it out <laughs> and make it work. <laughs> make it work. Thank so you very communication much. Communication is very, very important. Communication and is key. Yeah. That uh, I am living with the Wazugus, mm. but they are not bigger than me yeah. who is dark. Okay. okay. We Thank try you. to understand yeah. in that sense. Yeah. No nationality or no culture is bigger than the yeah. other. That one, if we respect, and especially as Kenyans, we know that we are one people. We shall be able to live in peace. Sister Beatrice, yeah. is there something maybe you would have added on that? or? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, on, on the part of inter our interculturality and uh, universe our universality is actually a sign eh, to the world mm -hmm. that is always fragmented and living in division mm. that it is possible to live together. Yeah. It doesn't matter where I come from. With my experience, I, have, I went to France, mm -hmm. a different culture, different mentality coming mm. from Africa, yeah. and I was able to live with my sisters from Europe, mm -hmm. and I felt at home. Yeah. So it doesn't matter really from where we come from, it is possible to live together yeah. in unity. Mm. And it is actually for us really a sign to a world that does not accept differences. Mm -hmm. A world that does not accept differences. That mm. if I come from, for example, Africa, I am not accepted in Europe, and we see it every day in mm -hmm. the media. Yeah. But for us, we want to be a sign yeah. that it is possible to live together. Good. Yes. Thank you very much, sisters. It is good to have been with you in the studio and conversing and knowing the Franciscan missionaries of Mary. Maybe there is someone who is watching us and is wondering, how can I get them? Do you have a number, or you can shout out the number, or you can send the people in the maybe uh, website or whatever facebook page or whatever yes yes you can do that okay actually mm -hmm. our website is www.fmm.org www.fmm.org that is our website mm -hmm. and here in kenya if you 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 click into the page it's very easy to get the contact of us mm -hmm. and here in kenya we have a vocation directress mm -hmm. and uh, we will link the number her number later on okay yes okay thank you very much do you feel there is something that you wanted to tell the people who will be watching us 
watching Missions of Hope, and I have not asked, it is your turn now to give us the, your concluding remark, Sister Ruth. Okay, uh, first of all is to be grateful. Uh, on top of what she has said as our website, we also have uh, a Facebook page mm -hmm. that is FMM East Africa. Once you click that, you will even also find the contact of the vocation directress, mm -hmm. and you can be able to be in touch with us. Uh, we, are, uh, we are a home that you can always look forward to be. Um, we, we, are not, we don't look for big things, uh, but where we are, we are happy. Mm -hmm. We can always find us. Uh, most welcome to our houses. Um, those around Nairobi, we have different communities around Nairobi. We have a community near St. Michael Parish, that is Langata. Mm -hmm. We have a community um, in Lavington, Rodaya Road. We also have our formation house, which is in the Novishit, uh, in Kikuyu, mm -hmm. the Kambura Parish. Yeah. Um, and as the, we also have a community in Wanguru, where our postulancy is, and other ministries, and also we have a community in Kakuma. So wherever you are in this world, mm -hmm. you are most welcome to be with us. Uh, wherever you find an FMM, uh, most of us wonder whether we are all FMMs, mm -hmm. because what unites us is our, our Ta our sign, mm. we don't have the same uniform, so people wonder, ah, ah, we are the same combination. <laughs> yeah. So that is our differences. Yeah. As we have said, we have accepted our differences. That is our interculturality. So when you find a sister um, without a veil or with the dressed in a Congolese way, when you go to India, you find them dressed in Indian, Indian way, but mm -hmm. that is our universality. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is how we live our life. Okay. What unites us together is our currency mm -hmm. that is, uh, brings us together. Okay. And that is what we are proud of as Franciscan missionaries of Mary. Welcome to experience our internationality. And uh, you will find, uh, you, when you find us, you will always look what, find what you are looking for. Wow. So, Kali Busana. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Ruth. Sister Be Beatrice, closing remark. Okay, for me, I would, I would like to say that uh, each one of us, as a, a baptized Christian, we are called to bring hope to the world. So, in whatever uh, capacity that we are able to do that, we can bring hope and joy and dignity to human life. So, as a family member, as a, as a religious, you can bring hope wherever you are. So, and for us specifically, we are welcoming each one of you who would love to join us to bring this hope to the world, to give dignity to the people. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Beatrice. Thank you so much, Sister Ruth, for making time to come and be with us at Captain TV Studio. Uh, it has been a joy to have you, the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. And as you have listened, they have told us who they are, they are an international community uh, representing the Catholic Church in the whole world. If you feel called as a girl to join them, they have said where you can get them. It has been good to be with you. Please keep hope alive because it's only hope that will make us know that there is a better tomorrow. It has been I, Sister Esther Moturi, and in the studio I was with the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. And until next time, it is bye for now. God bless you. Capuchin TV Ni bara kanto ka kwa mungu Weli, weli ni mara Weli ni bara kanto ka kwa mungu Weli, weli ni mara Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV Kitambulisho katoliki.